So forgiveness is at the heart of the Christian faith. And practitioners of the Christian faith believe Christ died to forgive sins and to reconcile Christians to God. Jesus taught that uh, his disciplines must forgive those who sin against them. Let's expand the conversation. Founder and general overseer of the Global Revival Ministries, Reverend Dr. Uh, Robert and Pierre Kofi joins us on uh, the line for more oh, on this. Oh. Reverend, thank you so much for joining us and you're welcome to News Night. Uh, happy Boxing Day and Merry Christmas as well. Hello, Reverend. Yeah, hello. Okay, I, I can hear you now. Um, you're welcome to News Night once again and, and, and happy Boxing Day. So uh, first, let me, let me throw in the question of forgiveness. Um, we've been preaching this for decades since Christians have been celebrating um, Christmas. I, I want to understand how crucial is love and forgiveness today? And is it very easy for people uh, to exhibit now uh, for having celebrated this or reminded ourselves almost every year when we celebrate Christmas? Yes, it is. Christianity is all about forgiveness and about mercy because God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son to save sinners. And God commends his love towards us that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So today is all about Christianity, is all about forgiveness and about love, about having sympathy for your fellow human beings even when in their weakness they offend you, it is important to know that God forgave us, so we must also forgive. I'm sure you've had the uh, question of how difficult for forgiveness is, especially in these hard times when somebody offends you, maybe in terms of financial situations. Uh, it's quite difficult to do. Um, in today's Ghana, how will it be easy for one to explain to the other that this is how <laughs> the path on which you should, you should tread in terms of forgiving someone who has offended you. And how do you know if you are really truly forgiving someone who's offended you? Yes, let me take up the, the second one first. The forgiveness is a decision more than even a feeling. Sometimes we confuse the fact that we are still hurt or we still feel emotional pain or trauma to think that because of that we have not forgiven somebody. And an act against us can still hurt us, but the forgiveness is a decision not to exact any vengeance or in any way harm somebody for something they have done. The thing may still be painful, but if you stand by your discipline decision, you have forgiven because forgiveness is a decision. But it is not an easy decision to make, uh, admittedly now, because the circumstances are tough and difficult. And when circumstances are difficult, people feel pain of hurt more because it adds to their stress and their difficulty. Mm -hmm. But if we will rely on God, and rely on Christ and rely on his word and to really surrender our lives to Christ, then he supplies us with the strength and the grace to forgive. Well, um, I think as the days goes by, it's quite difficult to even convince someone that rely on God. How is it easy to rely on God? Yes, I think it starts from the fact that one must be a child of God to have the nature of God that enables one to live the way God wants one to live. Uh, the Bible said the love of God, Romans 5.5, 5, is shed abroad from our hearts by the Holy Ghost. That's the love of Almighty God. is shed abroad out of our human hearts by the Holy Ghost who lives in us. So the key is to have God himself living in your life. To become a child of the living God is to have his nature in you 
and now it becomes easier to be like God. For the Bible said that be ye followers of God as dear children. So we can follow God and act in the way God would act if we are his children. And that is the most important thing. So I would advise everyone struggling with various things, give your life to Jesus, be born again, and receive his life inside you. Reverend Dr. Robert Ampiakofi, we thank you for sharing these uh, wise words with us this evening.